1895, Catherine Lee Bates, a professor of English at Wellesley, was inspired by the beauty of the Colorado Rocky Mountains to write a poem she called America. The words of this poem became the lyrics for America the Beautiful. It has become part of popular music. It's been on both the country and the R&B charts. In the early days, some people thought that America the Beautiful was the national anthem. But it wasn't until 1931 that President Hoover signed the law that made the Star Spangled Banner the national anthem. There have been efforts since then to make America Beautiful the anthem, but they haven't succeeded. The argument for America the Beautiful is that it's easier to sing and more melodic. I also feel it is more humble, more poetic, and more uplifting than the Star Spangled Banner. There are words in the second verse that connect to the situation today with the COVID-19 pandemic. Have you seen stories about 90,000 medical professionals who volunteered to help New York City during its worst days? These people are here in these words from 1895. Oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved and mercy more than life. These doctors and nurses express their love in their mission of mercy, all at great risk to their own lives and with not enough help from the government. In honor of them, here's America the Beautiful. Beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. America, America. God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful, for heroes proved in liberating strife. Who more than self their country love and mercy more than life? America, America, may God thy gold refine and all success be nobleness. And every gain divine. dream that sees beyond the years thine alabaster cities gleam undimmed by human tears America America God shed his grace on thee 
crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea.